Hello and welcome to my workshop. As you can see, workshop. <laughs> anyway, so being Monday morning, day million and seven of quarantine, I'm nearing, uh, what do you call it? Cabin fever. So I decided I can do something in the workshop. The question always is what? Now, I have lots of tools. I've got lots of projects. However, my dad has one of these little chairs that open here. But this point went all wobbly because only a hollow plastic tube thing and I don't get why they made this way. Not plastic, it's just aluminium or something. I'm not sure. So now, what I thought would be a fun project for the day is to make this better. This piece is strong, that piece is strong. This connect in the middle, not, not so much. So I thought of doing, if I can get this to release, is to use a straight stick. I don't know if you can see it, but it's a really cool looking stick. It's a little fun toy. Gonna cut it up, shorten it, make it nice, smooth it up, and then check. So I'm gonna do a little time lapse here of me just going away, sanding. I'll move over to the house where I still have all of the. Wait, no, no, no. I actually have Burmese teak oil with a child resistant cap. So I'll have to call the wife to help me with this one. But um, I'm going to do the teak oil because it prevents drying and cracking, protects solid lumbers, which this is, and a deep penetrating oil. So I'm going to do a, a teak oil finish on this one. Therefore, I won't be going home and using all other kind of things. I'm going to use this. I actually see, now that I'm here, I've got a stain concentrate. So I'm going to chuck some of this into the teak oil. Maybe in a separate container to see if it works. But if I can stain the teak oil, this has got a Maranti finish. I think this could look pretty decent. So... First up, I'm going to have to extract this piece and then measure the length, put this one in, uh, well, get this one cut up and shaped on the edges to fit these holes and then this becomes this. And uh, I'm blabbering so I'm going to start working. Please follow me on this little time lapse and um, if you have ideas of staining teak oil with wood stain please let me know because I don't know if I'm doing something stupid now anyway here it goes I'm going to change the camera angle to fit where I will be going all right enjoy the time lapse Alright, so I've got a piece of P60 uh, sanding paper here that I'm going to trim and start going ham on this little piece of wood here and uh, hopefully it finishes up quite nicely. So, here it goes. Alright, so it's been a good couple of minutes and uh, my P60 has uh, served me well. 
Now I'm going to move up to a P80 grit um, shiny paper just so that I can get this a little finer and then to finish off with I have a piece of 100 grit left so that's up next Okay, so this is all smooth and fine and everything. Now, I need to make sure that this fits in there tight fit enough so that it doesn't slip off at all, ever. So I'm going to use a disc grinder or a wheel grinder just to shape this out in the tip, make it fit nicely and uh, go from there. Okay, so I kind of got stuck in, it in my own train of thought. It's connected, and I put extra little holes in there for screws to go through. There's another one, just so that this thing stays solid and connected. So now, it's time for the teak oil little patch up. So what I'm gonna do is I've got a down here but I have a let me just move this camera. Okay, so down here I have a little vice grip, table vice that I've used for sharpening some of my other knives, but that is not important at this moment. So I'll just be putting this in here. Ugh. Adding a little cloth not to damage anything or make it scratched or anything horrible looking like that. I must say this thing feels solid. It does more solid than this table. And I've decided to go for something less extreme like mixing the paint. Oh, mixing the um, what you call it the stain into the teak well because I don't know how it's going to look when it's done uh, with the teak well only so I'll just be cutting myself a piece of cloth these little carpet knives are awesome full of like a pocket knife and uh, that way you prevent Accidental injuries, right now oh, this childproof cap. How do they work? Huh? Not that childproof. I got it open Let's see The finish I'm getting Ooh, I will be funny when I think but this looks pretty That looks really, really good. Close to the same color as it was on the previous little stick that they had in there. A little piece of aluminum pipe. But now, seeing as this belongs to my dad, take a little sharpie here and just go write his name. That way, this will never get lost. And if it does, someone knows where to find my dad. Alrighty, now it's just the oiling process. It's gonna go on here for a little bit. Also, make sure your Sharpie is a permanent marker and not a temporary marker. Otherwise, as soon as you go over 
the writing with the little oil is going to smudge and look really, really, really terrible. I want to say this looks good. As I was working this wood, I had a smell of some, I think it might have been tar or something. So this has been treated before. So this is basically just to give it a nice finish, make it look pretty and so on. All right, so I'm going to finish this up here quickly. Well, not quickly, give it a time to dry. Do it again, do it again, do it again, until I know this wood is treated properly. Then I'll go outside with this and show you in some proper lighting what this looks like. So stay tuned for that. So me being a bit heavier than my father, I did a strength test on this one and it's holding up nicely. Look at that wood. I don't want to be funny, but I think that is gorgeous. Fits better than the normal plastic that was on there. So, uh, yeah. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed my little short video, time lapse, of fixing this little chair for my dad. I'm off to take it to him. And you guys have a fantastic, amazing, and blessed day. See you soon.